Today on Number 6 with Cheese, we're headed to the Ukrainian village just west of where we are now to go to Katsu Sando, Japanese inspired fried chicken thigh sandwiches. So come along, let's check them out. They're pretty new. Let's go. Katsu fried chicken sandwiches from Katsu acquired jump cut. Oh, that's a cute box. Yeah, Corey right. Wagner second angle. All right, so we got the Katsu box. Let's check it out, open it up, boom. Whoa, that's kind of cool. It fits perfectly. Whoa. All right, so, I'm, oh, and they got little packaging for each little half. That's really cool. Dude, I dig this. Okay, so fried chicken, and then there's Katsu sauce on here. I'm not sure if that's just like interwoven with the bread or the, the breading on the chicken. I'm not exactly heard, sure how the sauce is on there. Then there's also cabbage. That's what the, the green the green and white stuff is. And then this is called milk bread. I'm not mm. sure what that's all about, but it seems like that's what their sandwiches are usually uh, coming on. The, their hamburger comes on milk bread too, which I don't really mess with milk. My wife loves milk, I don't. Yeah, that's just a fact about our lives. We still make marriage work. That's called <laughs> that's called commitment. That's called finding a way to work with the person you love, you know? An unlikely story. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be fun. Milk bread, huh? I don't know why I smelled it like that. All right, a little katsu fried chicken sandwich. Cheers. Cheers. That's mm. so lean. Oh, that's wow. so unique. It's like unbelievable chicken. Mm. Whoa. I don't think I like that. I'm going to give it a bite, but I don't think I like it. I think I do. It's a very strong and very mm -hmm. unique flavor. It's very strong. Is it like a sweetness? There's something. I don't, it's like yesterday or two days ago. I'm trying to explain truff sauce to people. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I just know I like it or don't. There's no flavors that I'm used to that I can call on and be like, mm -hmm. oh, well, that's definitely cumin. Yeah. We didn't get into doing the food review game because we have backgrounds in yeah. culinary. We literally just make dumb jokes. This isn't even a, whatever. I'm, I'm nervous. Over. Mm -mm. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Not at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not for me. Mm. That is disgusting. It's unlike anything I've ever eaten before as far as sauce goes. Like, Yeah, thanks a lot, Welby. He's the one who sent us mm -hmm. this uh, recommendation. Fire him on camera. No, I love him. <laughs> I bet this would be a complete coin toss. I think half people would be really weirded out by this and half people would be like, I oddly like that. It works really well. I totally well. agree. It works really well right now. I do like how unique it is. It's mm -hmm. definitely something that I, I mean, I haven't tried anything even close to this. Not even close, not even in the same realm. Dude. Mm -mm. You know, it's tough. When something's just called sauce based on the name of the restaurant, we have no idea what's in it. What are we gonna call and ask? Yeah, right. Isn't it funny how local restaurants don't need to print that information? That is funny. Like it could have something in it that could kill you. And you'll be one of those people that walks around and goes, can I get every ingredient in your sauce? Yeah. Although that'd be super bad for business. It'd be very bad for business. Everything, anybody, no return customers. Yeah. First off. Mm -hmm. This only has, it's really new, obviously too. It's only got 10 reviews on Google. Wow. So it's very new. An American approach to classic Japanese food. Sandos, Kushiyaka, Yo Yo gyoza and funky tastes. Oh, I love you. And then all of a sudden Guy Fieri started writing the copy. And funky tastes! Like he, <laughs> so dumb. That was pretty funky. Yeah. Cool. How about milk bread? I, Is milk bread just white bread on steroids? There's a time and a place for that style of bread. And I feel like it worked for this. That's like a type of bread you'd just, you'd pop in the toaster and spread like old school butter on. You know like what that? I thought it was a type of toast for? What? This is the perfect bread for uh, scooping egg yolk. Oh my God, because yeah. Because it's it would so, so it thick would soak and it fluffy in. and mm -hmm. soaky. Yeah. This is like sponge bread. This is it like, really is. I'll show you guys too, just because here's the other half that I haven't torn into yet. And then um, just real thick. Push on it, show them how, how much it like. I love when you tell me to push on stuff. Like it really like, it's got that spongy it's, quality It really to does, it. it's, it's crazy, spongy, right? It does, it's very. Everyone it's, on there is like, yeah, all bread's like that. Well, touch it, it's not the same as the other bread we've had. <laughs> then you come here and do this. <laughs> oh, also, we totally just talked about, we both talked about how much we love this place. Go like this video. Oh yeah, this, it right. helps. This, it helps so much when you guys like the videos. Even if you're like, dude, screw these idiots. Like us anyways, man, we're out here making videos, we're trying. I'm gonna ruin this sandwich. Dude, you might 
Ooh, look Whoa, at that. Whoa, that was the perfect pour. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I got dude? weird skills. You think I can fit the whole thing in my mouth? Yes. Uh-uh. Way good with that. I think it's even better now. I I imagine. We got our own hot sauce. How much were these sandwiches? Uh I think it was about ten bucks a pop. That's about the size of a sandwich that like a seventh grader would have their mom packing their lunch. They did feel like it was pretty tiny. Alright, before we go <laughs> before I go ahead and praise this place and Corey craps all over it, let's do a shout out. Huh. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. That's alright, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Patreon. It's an awesome way to help support us. We've really, really been putting in an effort to try to make Patreon one of the top ways to support us because we found out through COVID that we can't rely on sponsorships to make this our main time gig, and that really does help to have something to fall back on and look and say, okay, we can still keep doing this show even if the bottom falls out on everything else right and we're getting super close there when we started talking about our new goal of making three thousand dollars a month which would be fifteen hundred a piece total and we're getting closer and closer to that goal we started about a third of the way there we're already almost two-thirds of the way there a shade under we're above 50 percent below 66 percent i didn't run the numbers <laughs> yeah, yeah. but somewhere in there <laughs> I, I know that we I'm are in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, of course, anytime anybody signs up for Patreon, uh, we do a Patreon shout out. So if you want to sign up, it's patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. And then here's a shout out of a couple people who recently signed up to support us. Patreon shout out name number one, Mr. Stephen Carrington. Woo! Stephen's been a long time fan. He bumped up from the five to the thirty dollars a month, which is insane. So Stephen, thank you so much. I don't know math. Uh, I went to school for journalism, but that seems like a pretty hefty percentage wise to increase your donation. So thank you. <laughs> you can't divide 30 by I just five. had and six. You I just, it's a 600% increase. I just had an absolute stroke. <laughs> and Patreon shout out number two goes Mr. Garrett Lennon. This is unbelievable. Every single, we didn't, we didn't even work this out. This literally just happened. Oh, right here. There you go. Uh, but uh, he went from the $25 mark to $30 uh, tier uh, on Patreon. So yeah, th thank you. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash number six cheese. Links. All right, uh, let's go ahead and rate it though. Uh, <laughs> I always laugh before I know our scores are gonna be vastly different. Uh, out of five. You'd be surprised. Okay, I'm excited to be surprised. Yeah. Actually, you probably won't be that surprised. Um, out of five what? Cat suit, cat, we just cats. What's a fun cat from like pop culture? Um, what, ooh, what about, um, well, there's a cat in the show, but I'm thinking of this. Out of five hormone monstresses. Okay. Uh, which is Maya Rudolph's character in Big Mouth. Right. How many hormone monstresses do you give the katsu fried chicken sandwich from Katsu Sando Cory? Um, okay, so you are probably correct that you would probably have an understanding of where my score is going to go, but I do want to preface it with, and this is a little bit out of fear that Katsu watches this, because I, I feel bad because I think that was such a cool place. I do want to, like... A, re-push the idea that that place looked sick. B, push the idea that I think they have a lot of really cool things on the menu. Yeah, that's only one thing. That's only one thing. And C, I think Sean was 100% right that this flavor is, e you're either gonna be really into it or really not. Mm -hmm. And so most things, I think I have a pretty like, I, th I feel like I have a pretty blue collar tongue. Palette. Yeah, palate. Yeah, yeah. Where I can try things and I think most people in America will like, agree, be, like, with, you. agree with you. I agree. And I want people to know that that, I don't think that's the case with this. I think that just because I don't like this, it doesn't mean I don't think you should come and try it. I think there's a lot of people in the world who could watch this video who would love that. So if you're in Chicago, do not strike this from your list just because I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that the thigh meat looked really good. Mm -hmm. I kind of do like the milk bread. I thought that was interesting. The cabbage didn't bother me. It was just that sauce was something that wasn't fit for me. So I think you should come try this on your own. For my flavor palette though, I do have to go um, a, just a little below average because I'm really stoked that they like are trying new stuff and I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna give it a 2.25. Boom. Yeah, so this is something we, I don't know if we argue all the time about it, but something this place- Cat in a bag, dog is, in a bag. No, wait, maybe cat in a bag. No, that, dog that's in a, a bag. Dog. That's, that's a, a dog. shih tzu in a bag. That's a shih tzu in a backpack. On the back, which is, a lot of times you see it on the, the front. front. Yeah. What are those, like a baby Bjorn? Yeah, baby Bjorn. But that's in like a legitimate, like, Jan And sport. she doesn't even have the straps all the way up on her shoulders. Now that thing is dangling. Wow. Well, I respect her. 
So you know how like I always talk about how when I go to places like this, like especially with my girlfriend, we'll get a bunch of stuff and split it and try it. That's yeah. already cut in half, so you're not doing any like finagling. That's true. I think if you're gonna go to this restaurant, do not get one thing if you can financially afford it. If you can go with someone and get two or three things and really got skewers in there, yeah, the they have like meatballs as their own thing. The menu was kind of wild. I think get a bunch of stuff. All right, now let's move off of that. This sandwich specifically, kind of small for 10 bucks, but you're in a part of town that's like, it's a different type of cuisine, cuisine trying something different. Uh, it's not like just ordering a Subway sandwich and like stuffing your face in food and being like, oh, you know what I mean? Like this is a different beast entirely. So I'm, a, I'm, a I'm appreciating it differently than like a just scarf a sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, the whole time, I think I've done this for the full week. I'm going 4.0. I respect that. I think I've done three straight 4.0s. I'm a 4.0 kind of guy in high school with my grades, and then on the nerd, and then on a scale of nerd. Put my photo up on hotornot.com. I was about a four. Oh, that, 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 that tracks. Somebody uh, recently. So we have these like trolls that are sometimes. It's one person. They'll, they have like 20 spam accounts, and they'll pop out a video, and for whatever reason, go only at one of us hard for like 20 straight comments in a row. The other day it was me they were mad at, and I deleted them because you can just tell it's the same person, but one of them really got me. So, and I laughed, but then I had to delete it because they were all so rude. Somebody wrote, Sean is aging faster than the produce in my refrigerator. Oh, that's pretty funny. Just like well written, a nice period at the end, that's and I was like, funny. and I was like, oh no. <laughs> All this food is making me. <laughs> but it's, yeah. it, you know, you gotta, I just, you know, and wrinkles are gonna come and I got a big forehead, you know? And I will say, you're not aging that bad. I don't at all, think so. At all. We're damn near in our mid 30s and we look fantastic. And bro. we've been doing the show for five years. Yeah. So. And that person's probably a fat piece of trash who <laughs> sits in the basement chugging Mountain Dew. So. Only people that hate themselves comment how much they hate the look of other people. Fat. I've never, dude, I love myself, dude. Are you kidding me? Kidding oh, me. guys, kidding me. He's, I love when people just in their cars singing so unapologetically, dude. Love it. Um, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Back at Corey's Counter, sipping brews, eating fun stuff. Thank you so much for supporting us. And you know what, Katsu? I love the weird flavor you put in that sando. We'll see you I tomorrow. I love it in a weird way, too, I feel like. That was weird. Goodbye.